Hey, what's up, guys? It's Booker T, six-time world champ. I know you guys are checking out the beard, checking out the shine, checking out the gloss. Hey, if you want to know more, go to moreunique.com. Use promo code Booker. Can we expect? I think um, you, uh, yeah, I think you can expect a fast game. You know, it's uh, less stall, more ball. That's what the commissioner hey, Luck like says. <laughs> and uh, so I think you're going to see, you know, a fundamental game, family friendly, fun. Uh, you know, we, you know, we, we're doing it for the love of football. Um, that's what uh, you know we've been talking about and trying to to get back to the basics on it, and you know, bring in guys like Oliver Luck and Jeffrey Pollock. Um, they really, you know, these are football guys who who really get the, get the game. And I think what we're going to see is some things where the fans also input it. So the fans have come in and said, look, we want to see a little bit faster game. We want to see um, some more exciting plays. And so I think what we're doing on like the, the extra point and overtime or some, some real nice touches. And you know, we're not, we're not you know, really making wholesale changes, but I think there's going to be some really cool things in this game. Go you know, I was going to say, you know, why was Houston uh, the pl well, one of the places that y'all decided to put a team? You know what I mean? Because last time, the first run in the XFL, no Houston team. Yeah. This time, of course, you're here in the H. You already got another professional football franchise here with the Texans. Why was Houston a good spot? Well, I think it's just a great, you know, what they were looking at with the league was that, you know, they had done a study where they said they had 38 million avid football fans. And really the goal here is to extend that calendar. And what better place to do it than here, where there was a, you know, we've been rated as, as, as the most avid fans of football in, in the Houston area. And so it would just seem like it was a natural fit to pull, to, to extend that calendar uh, into the spring and, and bring football. So after, you know, the Super Bowl is over on February 2nd. Less than a week later, February 8th, more football. And so that's what we're doing. We're bringing more football to everybody, um, extending out that pro calendar. Yeah. I, I remember, um, like I said, the last time the um, XFL was here, it had a lot of um, bells and whistles um, that it added uh, to the game that now the NFL actually implementing their game, like the camera yeah. shot, you know, um, exactly. whatnot. And I think that was so innovative. Um, um, what can we expect from an innovative perspective um, to see with the XFL this time around? I think, you know, a number of different things. So, you know, we've got, we've got the new ball that just came out today. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's been a year in the making. They've done uh, research on it. They had, you know, players uh, talk about it. Coaches uh, looked at it and, and, and evaluated, brought some feedback. So you have that. Um, you're going to see some great things, I think, with, with new, new rules coming in, you know, with old overtime and potentially with um, – um, the, the kickoff and with punts, um, so they're going to do some some more exciting things as well. I think I, I love the overtime rule. That what is that overtime rule? So the overtime is uh, they're going to have two teams, both teams on the field um, at overtime. It almost built more like a um, more like a, a penalty kick in in soccer and in hockey, and, and again, kind of the idea that all both starting lineups will be on the team field. And they'll both have a, one opportunity to score a touchdown at the five yard line, for example. So you could go back and forth, and the one who gets to five would get the will, will will win the overtime. And if there's a tie of five, they'll continue to go back and forth until they until they break that tie. So you know some interesting and cool things like that. You know, no draws anymore then. Huh? So yeah, no no ties. So like there's going to be some interesting things there, and I think that's going to be really exciting. You know, that's one at least. That's one rule, and there's some other stuff that's, that's happening as well. But I think you know the time and effort that they put into putting this together is really, really going to really going to pay off. And yeah. I think we've done those things. Yeah, what Ryan was talking about is for us a new ball system. I actually like that a whole lot too because the the home team team has its own unique ball, and the away team has to you know have to just suffer every time they hike the ball, <laughs> every time they put it in their hand. They yeah. got to feel a certain way about exactly. something. Like that. Well, they got to look at they got to look at our name, look at our logo, exactly. our colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I think. Just know, just know that. Not at home, right? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Is there any uh, uh, rules like uh, no disqualification? Or like <laughs> no. Well, the championship gave you in a cage. <laughs> no comment. Now, we come from wrestling, so you know. And so does Vince. We got to know. Why was Roughnecks the right name to go with? I mean, you know, you know, there are a lot of things I that represent it's a, it's, a, it's a great name. You know, you know it's, it, it, it speaks to the, you know, the oil workers here in the city. I think it speaks to kind of... Um, the, the city's kind of quiet resiliency, that hard work, going out, rolling up your sleeves, getting it done. And I think, I love the name. I think it's just perfect for this city. And so, uh, and I, you know, so far, you know, what the fans have said, the fans love it too. So we, 
We really, we a lot really of people love the logo. Yes. yes. The logo is sweet. The logo yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we did we did a poll here um, on, on Hall of Fame, and uh, and so many people went with, you know, the name that we chose. And we was wondering, man, why didn't we get any love, man? Why didn't <laughs> our name get, you know, any any love uh, as far as, uh, you know, you know, being a part of this team? And what we said was, man, you know Houston. It, it gets, well, it get hot here, right? It gets real hot here. And so we, we thought about HH, Houston Heat. It was like, man, that would have been a good night. Because me and my brother, we used to be Harlem Heat. So we, <laughs> we, he was we, trying to get himself we over. Trying, that's what he was saying. We trying, trying to, to put himself in the trying, mix. He was trying to get, we were trying to get a little rub. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we call that in the wrestling business as well. Um, it, it's for us, the uh, uh, commentators. Are we gonna? Is this going to be a more traditional um, game call? Um, and last time, like I said, was like. You know, it had like a wrestling field. Is it going to be a more traditional game? Yeah, I think so. You know, we've got great broadcast partners with ABC and yeah. Fox this time. Like awesome. eight, eight of our games are going to be either on broadcast ABC or, or uh, we have five on ABC and then three on Fox and then two on FS1 for our ten regular season games. So yeah, it'll be it'll be more of a traditional feel. Uh, Kurt Menefee, I think, is leading the charge on the Fox side. They've got um, you know the ESPN team, ESPN team is be Joey Galloway and. Uh, and I think Pat McAfee's on that side as well. So we're kind of excited about the, the announcers they've got in there as well. I think it's going to be good. And so, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more traditional. Yeah, yeah. It's more of an uh, alternative um, um, for people that just love the game more than anything, right? As we're saying, for the love of football. I yeah. mean, that's really, you know, really it. I mean, I've, look, I've loved football since, you know, I was a small child. And I think this is, I'm just a super excited to see that kind of feeling, and hopefully bring that kind of feeling to the stadium this year in the, in the spring with, you know, when young kids coming in, and hopefully they'll get that same kind of feeling. You know, the, the being, you know, the, the you know lowest ticket in the stadium is twenty dollars to get in, yeah. hundred dollars for season tickets. So we're hoping we can we can bring in a whole new group of fans who who may not have had that access that they that they uh, they to other events, and this is one where they can come in. And hopefully we show them a great time. Okay. Well, I mean, because that's what our young people um, need more than anything, I think, is a springboard. Yeah. They need to um, be seen in order uh, for someone to be able to, you know, you know, put their phone call in and say, hey, how do we get this kid right here? You know, how can we, you know, make this work right here? And I work with a lot of kids. So I have a wrestling school, and I've been having it for, for 15 years. And this kid right here, Brad Gilmore, he's, he came to me when he was a you know, 18-year-old kid, and he's 26 years old now. So, you know, um, fueling the future um, is what I see with the XFL. So I say, guys out there that's listening, you know, jump on board. Uh, be a part of this thing. It's going to be kicking off in February. You heard it. You know, season tickets. How much was that? Season tickets started $100 for five whoa, whoa, games. Whoa, 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 whoa. How much was that one more time? $100. What, what Brad? Yeah. I, 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 how much he said $100. I, I, I'm getting old. My ear here, they ain't working. But guys. Uh, and where can they get those season tickets? They can get those tickets at XFLRoughnecks.com. XFLRoughnecks.com, guys. Do it! Uh, do it now. Um, Rod, I want to thank you for stepping inside the Hall of Fame. We're thank looking you. forward to big things um, with the Roughnecks. Um, starting in 2020, February 2020, guys, um, it's going down. That's right. Uh, we will see you guys there. Hey, guys, stick around. More Hall of Fame. Back in a minute. Thank you.